In this video, we're going to learn how to apply the Pythagorean theorem to 3D objects. If you have the printed notes, this is handout number five. Let's begin. So, Lindsay wants to mail a candle that is eight inches tall to her friend for her birthday. She's at the store looking for a box to ship the candle in. Lindsay needs to know if the candle will fit diagonally in the box shown. How can she use the Pythagorean theorem to help her answer this question? Show your work in the space below. So, uh, we've got this candle that's eight inches tall. Now, this box is not eight inches wide. Uh, it's not, it doesn't have a length of eight inches. It's not eight inches tall, so you can't stick it up straight or lay it down sideways. But you may be able to lay it down diagonally from one corner to the next. So I'm going to make this a little bit clearer. I'm going to highlight the back four corners, and then the front four corners I'm going to put little pink dots for them. So they're wondering if Lindsay can lay it down that way from the back corner to the front corner. So this red line, that dotted line, goes from the back corner to the front corner. So what do we know? Uh, we can see that this forms a right triangle. This right triangle right here, and what information do we know? Well, we know that uh, this is seven inches tall, but we don't know what this is, and we don't know what this is, and I labeled it C because it is the hypotenuse of this right triangle. Um, if we try to set up this equation, we'd have a square plus seven square equals C square, and you can't solve this if you've got two missing variables or two missing values. So. What some of you have noticed is that you do have some other information here. This is four inches and this is three inches. And the bottom right here forms a right triangle as well. So the bottom actually refers to the whole bottom of the box. And so what we're going to do is we can take this information and use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for this. So uh, remember the Pythagorean theorem is a square plus b square equals c square, a square and b square being the legs, and c square and b being the hypotenuse. The section that is missing is our hypotenuse. So I'm going to rewrite it c square, and then a square plus b square, that's going to be 3 square plus 4 square. Multiply that out, uh, and then add 9 and 16, and you should get 25 equals c squared. In order to find c, you need to square root it when we find out that C, this length right here, the hypotenuse is five. So now we have some more information to figure out our original right triangle. So our hypotenuse is missing for this right triangle. We've got both legs, one is seven inches and the other is five inches. So A square, which is going to be five square, plus b square, which is going to be 7 square, equals the missing side, which is c square. 5 square is 25. 7 square is 49. c square is still c square. You're going to add up both of those. You get 74 equals c square. Square root, and we find out that c equals roughly 8.6 inches. So now we know c. Does it answer our question? Remember, the original question was, is the box big enough to fit the candle? Well. 8.6, sorry, Lindsay wants to mail a candle that's 8 inches tall. And that length is 8.6. So because 8.6 is greater than 8, uh, the answer is yes. She will be able to fit that candle in the box. Let's try another one. So example one, I'm going to go through this slowly. But if you feel like you can work this out or try it, uh, be sure to pause it and try it yourself to see what you can get. So uh, we have this length from A in the back to B in the front. So back and the front, and I'm just gonna wanted to highlight that for you. So this is a missing length right here. We've got our right triangle. And we need to find this side first because we know, going back to this right triangle, we know that the side length is 13, but we're missing the hypotenuse and we're missing the bottom leg. And we can't solve if we're missing two sides. So let's find the uh, the length by using this right triangle down here. So the relevant sides are going to be 6 and 13. They're both legs, so C square is missing, or the hypotenuse is missing. 6 square plus 13 square equals C square. 6 square is 36. 13 square is 169. 
add those two up, you get 205. We're going to square root it, and C ends up equaling 14.3. So this length is 14.3. We're done with that triangle. We now need to find this big triangle right here. Now we have our uh, two legs, 13 inches and 14.3, and we're missing our hypotenuse. So uh, we're missing our hypotenuse. I'm just going to write C square equals 14.3 square plus 13 square. Multiply those out, add them up, and we find out that C, after I square root it, equals roughly 19.3 inches. Let's try another one. I'm going to move through this one much quicker. So again, if you want to, you can try it on your own. Uh, pause the video and try it on your own. So first thing we need to do is find the length of this bottom section. And we use draw a little triangle there. Our relevant sides are 8 and 24, and they're both legs. So 8 squared plus 24 squared equals c squared. 8 squared is 64. 24 squared is 579. C square is still missing, and we square root to find that this length is 25.3. Now that we figured that out, if again, if you want to pause your video to try this section out, you can do that. We know that 25.3, oh, let's draw that triangle. Um, it seems we're missing two sides of the triangle still, but um, we know the bottom, and we actually know this side. And how do we know that? Well, because if this side of the triangle, or sorry, if this side length is 15, then we know this side length is also 15 because it's a prism. So this is also 15. So now we have both legs of our triangle. So we can set up our, our equation. Uh, a square is going to be 25.3. B square is 15 square. Multiply those out add them up, we get 865.1, and now we need to square root it, and we get roughly 29.4 is our answer. Let's do this example. Find the length of A, B. So we need to find the length of A and B. A is in the front, B is in the back, so I'm going to draw that line. The, what are the clues they give us? The length of A, C is 12 centimeters, so A to C, this bottom length, is 12. The length of CD is 5, so from here to here is 5, so we're going to fill that out. And the length of BD is 2, so where is BD? Oh, B and D. This is 2, so we're going to draw that in. So now we need to find, again, the bottom, the triangle that get form, gets formed on the bottom. Uh, we have both legs. So we should, if you set it up, you should have 12 square. 5 square plus 12 square equals c square. Or you could have done 12 square plus 5 square equals c square. Multiply that out. Add those two numbers up. 169 equals c square. And now square root it, and you would get c equals 13. So now that I know this length is 13, I'm going to find the area of this right triangle. I have the length of both legs. So if you set it up, you should get 13 squared plus 2 squared, or 2 squared plus 13 squared equals c squared. Multiply that out. You get 169. 2 times 2 is 4. 169 plus 4 is 173. Square root both sides. And our answer is roughly 13.2 centimeters. All right. So I'm going to stop the video here. In the next part of our video, we're going to learn how to apply this to pyramids and cones.